Hello Taurus, <clears throat> this is your mid-month for the 15th through the 31st. See what's going on with you guys currently and what's taking you through the month. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to do a Celtic cross, you guys. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. All personal reading information is below the video, okay? Here we go, my Taurus friends. This is the energy surrounding you, what's challenging you, why you're here, the foundation, the recent past. Let's see if I can move this down a little bit, maybe move that up. Okay. Best outcome, the near future. How you see yourself, outside influence, your hopes, your fears, and the final outcome or the overall outcome here, okay? Keep in mind, energy is fluid though, so things can change. All right, so <clears throat> let's see what's going on around you here hmm the hanged man so a lot of you are just feeling um, stuck in a situation feeling like there's nothing else to do or there's nothing that you can do to change what's actually happening right now it's like you've just taken your hands off of it um, and just letting things play out the way they would without you you know taking the initiative to do anything at all you know just feeling very like your hands are tied here let's see what is challenging you hmm your challenge is the daughter of earth now it could be that it is actually um, your daughter that this has something to do with but this is really like the page of Pentacles and is challenging you to do something and I think what that something is you already know what that is um, but I think you're choosing to not take any action okay but there's there's a small I feel like gesture if it's nothing but a talk or you know some communication that you are being challenged to do okay um, maybe it's an apology or something that you need to offer um, to the woman in your life even okay so let's see how you view yourself um, you feel like you know this is what you've chosen like you know you're gonna stick to it you're not going to budge just you just like this is what I've chosen for myself. Um, this is what I think is best for me. And I'm doing that. Okay. I think it's best that I take my hands off of whatever situation this is and just let it be. Okay. Let's see why you feel like that. Why are you here? Um, because, you know, you're coming here as a, as a hierophant. This is your card. Um, you just feel like whatever you feel is best for you. You feel like it's best for everybody, actually, everybody involved, um, for you to just not do anything at all. Just let things play out the way that they are going currently. Okay? And that's just your strong belief that that's best for everyone. Let's see where this came from. Hmm. Hmm. You know, maybe it is an Aries that you are dealing with or Aries that you're thinking about, but um, maybe somebody was just very stubborn in the past. Maybe you were very stubborn in the past, um, wanted things your way or they wanted things their way. And so now you just feel like, okay, they're not going to budge, so I'm not either. Maybe that's the situation. They're not coming towards me, so I'm not going to go um, towards them. I'm just going to leave it alone. Let's see what the best possible outcome is here. 
Hmm. I think there is a talk that needs to be had. I think there is um, some truth that needs to be revealed. The air needs to be cleared. I think that that is what your challenge is, is basically to clear the air with this individual. Maybe there was, um, you know, communication in the past was like, you know, it was too much for you. And so now it's like, it's best that I just don't do anything at all because, you know, you're both very strong figures, it seems here, you and this individual. But um, your challenge, again, is definitely to clear the air, to get things off your chest, to let them get things off of their chest and to like come to... Um, an agreement or even agree to disagree okay in the near future hmm we have the five of cups here and this is regret this is regret um, somebody's feeling like you know all is lost there is you know there's nothing that I can do missed opportunity here okay so what I'm getting with this is that if you stay like in this mode where you feel like you want to keep your hands off and you don't actually have a conversation here with um, this fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius energy strongly Aries I feel like um, at some point you're going to have regrets about that surrounding that decision okay so your challenge for the month is to offer something, to take the initiative to do something, to not remain in um, this mode where you just feel like there's nothing you can do because there is something that you can do and that is what your challenge is, okay? Let's see what your outside influence is. Yeah, daughter of fire, strong Aries here, daughter of fire. Um, this is somebody that is, um, they're starting something new here, something that they're passionate about, taking baby steps, you know, this is, this is still a, um, you know, still a page here. So it's like the start of something new, something creative, um, you know, active energy here. Okay. So for a lot of you, it's like, th this is for like a Taurus man, I feel, for a lot of my Taurus men, but it could be vice versa, okay? So, but this is a strong message for um, a Taurus man, but there is an Aries woman or lady that is significant in your reading um the reason why you are feeling stuck you're feeling stuck around this person maybe this person is very very strong willed um maybe they do like to do things their way maybe they are like you you know they have their own um their own belief system and they you know stand by it strongly okay let's see what your hopes are hmm Wow. Okay. So your hope is the five of swords. And this is like, you know, you want to win. Maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while. Maybe you know that that is what actually bothers them. And so if you actually reach out to them, it's almost like you, you are losing because you're opening yourself up, being vulnerable for them to reject you or do to you what you possibly have done to them. And that is ignore them. I mean, that's just a possibility. But the Five of Swords is not a good energy. Um, your hopes could be that you just, you know, you just don't want to fight anymore. You just don't. You don't want to engage, period, because you don't want to give somebody the opportunity to hurt you. That could be your hope, okay? And that's the reason why you are just like remaining in the hangman mode and stuck because it's like, you know what? It's best that, you know, if we're going to communicate like this and argue, then, you know, I just don't want to engage, period, okay? So I see what your fears are here. Hmm. Your fear is basically choosing this person. 
your fear is choosing this person and things don't work out the way that you would like for them to hmm because right now you're choosing yourself okay and that's why you're here in the hangman mode because you're choosing yourself your fear is that if you choose this person then you guys are possibly going to end up where you were before in this arguing, backbiting, bickering. And, you know, it's just not what you want in your life right now. Although you have very, very strong feelings for this person. This individual um, may also have Aquarius, Gemini in their chart, or you may even, okay? But I think that um, this is somebody that you you feel very strongly about. But, you know, your relationship was intense right here. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is here for you guys. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. I think this is relating to the individual that um that you are thinking about here the daughter of fire or the page of uh wands this is this is this person if you do if you choosing yourself if you are choosing yourself um this person will get to a point where you know they're comfortable being single um they're actually confident you know, in being by themselves, the Nine of Pentacles is not somebody that, you know, just wants to remain single, but they are comfortable being by themselves in the meantime until they actually find what it is that they want, okay, what they feel like they deserve here, okay? So again, if you if you decide not to reach out, if you decide to just take your hands off and choose yourself, um, then there's there's a there's a strong chance that you could have regrets surrounding that decision regarding this fire sign energy. It does not have to be a fire sign, but that's just the energy that's present. But it is strong Aries energy here. Um, but you, you could have end up having regrets behind this decision here, okay? And this person just go on with their life and, you know, as a single um, person, okay? So that is what the outcome is here. And um, I will be speaking with my Tarses soon. Bye now.